This investigation is titled Construction of Digital Identity Through B-Learning Training Resource Evaluation. Our research is based on the evaluation of technological resources used in a blended learning course. The study was carried out amongst 71 social work students at Salamanca University. The subject where blended learning was implemented was divided into both a morning and an evening shift. In order to collect the data, an online questionnaire was used with the objective of measuring the student's assessment of the technological resources. The aspects assessed were ease of use, suitability, impact on the construction and co-construction of knowledge, and engagement. The resources evaluated were induction videos, video snippets, lessons, wiki, chat and forum, video conferencing rooms, and Kahoot. The types of analysis that were carried out uh, from the obtained data were descriptive analyses, normality tests, and non-parametric tests. As regards to the first item, 49.3% of the students strongly agree with the technological resources ease of use. 43.7% agree and 1.4% state that they disagree, with this figure being repeated for students that strongly disagree with this item. In the second item, 53.5% of the participants agree that the technologies are suitable for the pursuit of the activities, with this being the highest percentage, followed by 40.8% that strongly agree and 1.4% that disagree, which is the lowest percentage. In the third item, 50.7% of the students strongly agree with the adequacy of spaces and means of communication. 40.8% report agreeing, while 2.8% state they disagree regarding their adequacy. As for the fourth item, 63.4% strongly agree with the range of formats used to present the subject's content. 33.8% agree and 1.4% neither disagree nor agree, with this percentage coinciding for those that simply agree. As regards to the fifth item, 49.3% strongly agree with an improvement in their understanding of the subject thanks to the range of formats used to introduce the same content. 45.1% agree, while 1.4% disagree. In the sixth item, which rates whether the range of resources has made learning easier, 43.7% of the students strongly agree, 52.1% agree, and 4.2% disagree. Moving on to the seventh item, 47.3% agree that the technological resources help them with their autonomous learning. 42.3% strongly agree, and 2.8% disagree. The next item rates whether technological resources support group work. 49.3% agree that they do, which is the highest percentage, followed by 38% that strongly agree and 2.8% disagree which is the same percentage recorded by those that strongly disagree. In the ninth item, 40.8% of the students agree that they find the subject more appealing thanks to the use of technological resources. 31% strongly agree and 4.2% disagree. The tenth and final item corresponds to the increase in motivation towards the subject due to the use of technological tools, with 45.1% of students agreeing, followed by 28.2% strongly agreeing, and finally, 7% disagreeing. In general, and regarding the average score the students have awarded to the different items, the ones best valued correspond to number 4 and number 5, while the ones least valued are number 9 and number 10. Following the analysis conducted with the Man Whitney U test, it may be concluded that in terms of gender, the difference in means is statistically significant in item 4 and item 5. As regards to the differences found between the groups, we conclude that the difference in means is statistically significant in item 2 and item 10. We were able to draw the following conclusions. Students' positive appraisal regarding the ease of use of devices, positive assessment the students gave the resources, with these tools being a major factor for communication and group work. The range of formats helps the educational process to adapt to the different rhythms and styles of learning, enhancing the understanding of content and facilitating students' meaningful learning. These resources helped to heighten the students' interest in the subject's development, increasing their motivation. And last but not least, concerning the different models of e-learning, the research shows that few significant differences have been found in their implementation.